What's good, Dragon Ball Super fans out there? It's your boy Rebel here back again with another video for you guys. Yes, I know I'm late on this, but uh, I just watched episode 104, and this episode was lit. Possibly the best episode of the tournament power to me. I really felt like it had everything going for it, the fight, the the dialogue, everything. Especially when they threw in the little the little shot of, like, you know, um, Ciampa talk about uh, Dispo looks like. Beerus, I wanted them to delve deeper into that a little bit more because I wanted to know if they like would have just said, yo, that's my cousin, he's a part of the race, something. But it was just a little funny that they gave a little nod to it because everyone was thinking that Dispo is a rabbit, you know, it's either he's a rabbit or he's related to Beerus, he's a part of Beerus's race, that this, that, and the third. But now we kind of got a little confirmation that he's a part of Beerus' race due to the fact that Ciampa said he looks like him. So we don't know. But this episode was A1 with the fights. I wish we got to see a little bit more out of Super Saiyan God Goku because Super Saiyan God Goku, we haven't seen him since Battle of Gods. And I really wanted to see a lot more from him. Like whether it was power-wise, more dialogue from him. I wanted to just see a lot more from Super Saiyan God Goku, but... Overall, the fights were amazing. Uh, Kunsei, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He was actually decent. He, I didn't, I wasn't expecting a lot from him, but he was actually pretty good. I liked his, I liked his little power because that was something actually unique to Dragon Ball Super. We haven't seen any other character like it. Dispo caught me a little bit off guard due to the fact of I felt like they kind of nerfed Hit just for this fight, but not really nerfed him, but kind of made him just make them more more presentable to fight i guess just to make dispo a little bit relevant because dispo is fast as hell and we already knew he was he was going to be fast because he's he's named the sonic warrior so seeing him actually being able to f read um hits movements and actually be able to be faster than him we now know that we already knew the weakness between of well we knew the weakness to hits p power and it was just delve deeper in this episode more. So, to me personally, I really feel like this episode had everything going for it. I'm just tired of seeing Jiren, the low key, just Jiren, just looking down at the fights. They're really, really watching people fight. I'm surprised no one else in this tournament of power is really like trying to fight them. They're just watching everybody just go at it. And they just speculating, they're not doing nothing until the end. So, I already know, it has something to be good between Jiren, Topo, and Dispo. These three right here, now we know that they're actually the last three survival, survivals, survivors, sorry, survivors of Universe 11. They have to go extra hard. I could see Dispo getting eliminated in like two episodes. I don't see him lasting really long, because he almost got eliminated this episode, but... It's crazy, though. I want to know what you guys think about this episode, because to me, this episode was pretty good. It was no complaints for me. Just wanted to see a little bit more from Super Saiyan God Goku. But overall, this episode was definitely A1. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Stay tuned all week. I definitely got some videos to come out for you guys that you guys might enjoy. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll show you guys later. Peace, YouTube.